Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about comparing D functions. So just as a reminder, the D function is the radial distribution function. And this means that it tells us about the distribution of locations that the electron is located in a given atomic orbital. Okay, on our horizontal axis, we have little r, or the radius, which is the distance from the nucleus. And on our horizontal axis, we have the D function value, which tells us about the relative probability that the electron is located at a given distance, so at a given r. Okay, and then we have some example questions to help us differentiate between these two axes. So the first question asks, which AO has a higher probability that its electron would be located X units away from the nucleus? So since we're gonna be comparing probabilities, we need to compare values along the vertical axis. Okay, so the blue function at radius x has a value right here. And the green function at radius x has a value up here. So if we're comparing these two values vertically, we can see that the green one has a higher relative probability. Okay. So the next question asks, which AO is on average located farther away from the nucleus? So if we're asked about distance from the nucleus, that means we're gonna be comparing values along the horizontal axis. Okay, so the blue function has an average value of right around here. And our green function has an average value of right around here. So if we're comparing these two values horizontally, we can see that the green one is farther away, meaning that our green atomic orbital is on average located farther away from the nucleus. So just to recap what we discussed, when you wanna compare probabilities, you compare along the vertical axis, and when you want to compare distances, you compare along the horizontal axis. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.